Hello everyone, I'm in Lichkov in Czech Republic near the train station because I just got out of the train, direct train from Wrocław and this is the start of my one night trip here of course I have a tent in my backpack so once again sleeping out in nature so I am excited I am excited because um, past week was exhausting for me you know both physically and mentally in school so it's nice to finally do a little reset to, to the mind and to just chill out here also I decided to take a different approach to trips like this at least this time uh, so I don't have anything planned really I didn't choose any route I didn't specifically choose a place for sleep so I will just go straight forward maybe look at some signs go to the other villages here and just I will see where I will end up you know I think it's it's good to not to be pressured for example to finish uh, a trail for example on the previous trips like this I chose uh, a route for example 20 kilometers and I I had to travel that so this time I want to take things a little bit easier Wow, <laughs> so beautiful here. Okay, so funny story. I knew that there are some bankers here from World War II, I think, but I didn't have any intentions to like search for them. But I climbed up a mountain and you can see that in the back there is a bunker. So I will explore it a little bit. Oh wow, there's another one. <laughs> It's a museum, so no way of like going inside of it. Mm. <laughs> it was so random that I went up that mountain, you know, and now I have a... also that information bars. You can read that and dunk traps there. Okay, so there is actually one bunker that is like open. Wow, you can't see much here because there's no much light here. Wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> Ooh, those stairs are going down like nice. <laughs> oh my god, that's sick. Like
This is so big, like... Oh. Two levels. <laughs> Gosh. I'm so glad that I... That I live in times when... I don't want, I don't have to, like... Go to something like this. Wow. This is epic. <laughs> Damn. It's so big, like uh, you wouldn't expect that that there is an under underground level, you know? <laughs> wow! So great! <laughs> so I had to come back to this place because I chose that path and I and I had to choose that one. I I guess I wasn't paying enough attention to 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 my journey so I need to be more focused from that point <laughs> because I lost like 20 25 minutes on that. I'm running out of food, I would say. I'm going to the place that I think there is a like a place to eat, something to buy. And if not, then I have only a few products left. So if there will not be any restaurant or mountain shelter then this will turn into real sort of survival <laughs> place by the way almost uh, 15 kilometers past me so my legs are feeling that but I think that I have still like seven or eight kilometers to my camping spot so this should be fun I didn't record much because I just don't like it on the hike uh, but I'm descending now and I'm going to my campsite I think uh, well I don't know specifically in which place I will be sleeping but so I will do like a recon or something like that looking for prey damn
Wow, just look at this view, amazing. Okay, so I guess I will be sleeping next to this signal tower. <laughs> this is my spot, I think. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I think that this will be my spot. I hope that uh, you can see it, but from the tower that nobody will shoot me. <laughs> Yeah, look, the view is amazing because I am planning to do some photography, also star photography, astrophotography, so I'm hyped. <laughs> I swear that I love getting out of the shoes after 23 kilometers and also that this like vapor you know because my feet are so hot <laughs> same as me <laughs> the sun is slowly setting down and Wow, just look how marvelous I look in the ray of sunshine. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired and I don't have sunglasses, so looking at this sun is even more tiring. Also, from the beginning of this day, I have a headache, and now this is the worst. From. Uh, yeah. Forget it. As I said, I tried to do some astrophotography, but I was that tired that most of the photos were out of focus and I didn't even realize it. So, yeah. <laughs> and also I had an encounter with an animal in the morning after I woke up. I think it's a mouflon, but I'm not sure because it was uh, too far away, honestly. <laughs> Welcome. I look terrible after that night. I mean, I feel recovered, but the night itself was terrible. It was very, very cold. My sleeping bag is for minus four, and I think that it was below that temperature. I like, I wasn't like comfortable in it. Yeah, but <laughs> it's the end of the night, so <laughs> and now I'm going down uh, to the train station and then to Wrocław. 